Which way do we go? Ten, do you see a light down any of these tunnels? AJ, still with me? AJ, please. We have to keep moving. There's... there's nothing after this. What? James isn't in there. He looked right at me, and... and his eyes were empty. There's nothing after we die. Nothing but empty eyes. I know. I know you do. And I know you keep things from me. <gasps> what? <gasps> Why did you make me make my friend go away? Everything is just, just wrong. Like something spilled on the floor and you just can't get it back. AJ. Every time you kill, you become a little harder. I'm scared of what you might become. Murdering Marlin was the start for you. I wanted to keep you safe from all this. I wanted to guide keep you. Keep me safe! You say don't be soft, but everything that you do just messes up my head. Be strong, be brave, and if I can't stop the bad people from killing me, kill myself first. <sighs> AJ. When we were talking with Abel, you stabbed him and stopped him from becoming a monster. You made killing look so easy. And you burned him with the cigarette. You, you killed that guy when we were sneaking on the boat. You didn't have to, but you did. What made him different from Lily? AJ, please, that's enough. I'm sorry. I'm just scared something will take you away. Aren't you scared of that too? to leave the world behind? And me? Listen, kiddo. Everyone is scared of dying. Of what happens after. Especially if it's nothing. I don't want people I care about to leave, Clem. Kill anyone that tries to take them away. I do. I believed you when you called me a murderer about Marlin. I don't think that murder means the same thing as it did when you were little. In a world that's gone now. I think that murder now is just protecting the people around you. Murder is a thing that makes us safe. So part of me wants to say you're right. Maybe words do change. Well, say I'm right. I know you want to be big for everyone, but you're just a kid, like me. Sometimes you're scared, just like any other kid. So I'll help. You said all the policemen and firefighters died. So, I'm gonna be a new one. Even if I don't get it just right, I am. Because all it means is killing bad people who hurt other people. And I'm good at that. Like, I think I could be the best at killing bad people. I think you'd be a good firefighter, but can you not be so angry? What do you mean? Our new firefighters can't be as angry as you get sometimes. I need you to trust me, Clem. That I can tell the good people and the bad people apart. That I know when to use my gun. And that you'll let me decide for my own. Okay. Really? Firefighters have to make the hard calls, which means they deserve our trust. And if they kill to protect others, they're never happy about it. 
Killing people doesn't make me happy, Clem. Feel that? Yeah, that's the way out. Come on. Coast is clear. If the shore is that way, then the school is probably that way. A sim was the third. Huh? The day after AJ killed Marlon, you already know Violet and I voted for you to stay. A sim was the third vote. Wait, that means Omar voted us out? And Ruby? Uh, yeah. Huh. What made you think of that? A sim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you. But his reason, it was better. I just, I just thought you should know. The sim was right. We were safer. We were more scared than we let on when you met us. As bad as Marlon was, he still saved me and AJ. And you nursed me back to health. We owed you for that. Maybe, but even so. If Marlon was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead, we fought back, because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlon, even in his safe zone. We were just... hiding. Huh? Huh? You're not dead. That's good. Did everyone else escape? Damn right. They took that cart and hauled ass back to the school. But you came to look for us. Thought I lost you. Only for a minute. Longest damn minute of my life. It's over, Clem. The raiders are gone, and we got everyone out alive. Ruby said Violet's eyes aren't infected, so that's good, too. They'll all be waiting for us back home. Any idea which way that is? I haven't been out here in a while, but I think there's a bridge. That way. It's the fastest way back. Let's go.
I killed that woman back on the boat. Was that your first? Yeah, my first. It feels like bile, but not quite, you know? Or like a scream that doesn't know if it should or not. Let's get out of this first, okay? There'll be plenty of time to talk about it when we get home. I don't think I'll have to. And I'm done kicking things down the road. Having a home means defending it. Yeah, yeah, it does. I really thought we were gonna die on that boat. The dumbest shit always goes through my head when that happens. My old pet turtle, Jeff. My grandma's phone number. The word that lost me the fourth grade spelling bee. Recommend. Stupid shit. Anything new this time? Before my parents divorced, they were building a house. I begged my dad to put in a skylight. Begged. Please, if you love me, you'll do it. That shit definitely didn't work. So we made a deal. I got straight A's, he'd put in a skylight. And you remembered the skylight just now? They never got to build the house. I don't even know what color it was gonna be. I should have asked. Sure should have. Well, what color did you hope it was? Oh, uh, well, maybe purple. Is that your favorite color? No, but you don't see a lot of purple houses. Why not stand out? <laughs> of course you'd say that. Of course. Okay, I'm starting to visualize the place. How many floors? Even number? Odd? How many? You gotta have at least three. You gotta, huh? Walkers hate stairs. The more floors, the better. <laughs> Fair. I call the attic. I like what I'm seeing. I could definitely live there. Give me a last flourish, though. One thing to really bring it all together. Come on. The coup de gras. The insert other French phrase here. Yeah. How are your grades? They would have been straight A's. Then it looks like we're putting in a skylight. Thanks, Dad. Uh, you're welcome, weirdo. We get back to the school, we are building that house. You really think we can? I really hope we can. Can I help? Of course you can. You're in charge of painting. Come on, we got a home to build. Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward. It's far. Really far. I think we can jump it. Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard. Minnie? 
I found you. Oh, Dan. My sweet little brother. Come with me. You're dying. Yes. Yes, I am. I'm finally going someplace better. I want you there with me. Where everyone gets to be a person again. We're gonna go be with Mom, and Dad, and Sophie. Ten, snap out of it! She wants to kill you! I... I know, but I... Don't you fucking speak to him! Any of you! Stop! He needs to be with his family! Don't do this! Don't worry, Ten. She can try to stop me. But I am not going anywhere without you. The night will be over soon. Skylight? I did it for you. Ten's dead. He's dead. Do you realize that? Look! He's... He's gone. Because of you. Just fucking gone. AJ saved your life, Lewis. Ten was gonna get you killed. So what? We just cut him loose? Gun him down like he was nothing? I didn't want to shoot him. He was my first real friend. But he was messing up again, just like when he got Mitch killed. So I had to decide. Clem said I could, so I did. 
ten. We gotta move. The monsters are gonna trap us. I know. Uh, I'll climb over first, then help you climb down the other side. Come on, almost there. Lewis. Come on! Clem, look out! Damn it, there are too many! No, we'll find another way! What about you? You're trapped! We'll make it! Go! Clem, we can climb there! Good idea! This first. Clem! I got you! Go! I'm right behind you! Got bit. Wow. Just look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at you. I know I told you I'd always keep moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I have a home now. Then you're off the hook. A home is better than I could have ever hoped for. Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. <laughs> 